Hey y'all, this is Deb, and uh, I know it's been hmm, almost two weeks now, maybe, yeah, two and a half weeks, but as promised, I'm back with part two, uh, I guess I call this the review of the Missouri Natural Hair Health and Beauty Showcase. Now, when I finished the last video, I was headed back inside because, as I had indicated, I had not seen Beautiful Brown Baby Doll. So as I was walking in, I saw this woman being helped look like back into the convention area. And she had this huge afro and um, she had on this gray like dress but I mean the afro was huge so I was trying to rush rush back inside because I thought it was the lady with the largest afro but it wasn't it was Miss Isis I don't know if any of you all are aware who she is she's Isis Brent Brantley I think but anyway I got a picture of her and she is I don't know if that was her hair as you can see I, I managed to get a picture of her it has a black bow in it and everything and I didn't ask her any questions because I didn't know who she was I did ask her if she was a lady with, your, with the largest afro and she told me no but she was kind enough to pose so I could take her picture so I was perplexed as to who she was but I was dead set on getting back in as I indicated and um, at least seeing if I can meet beautiful brown baby doll and then I just happened to go by calls by nature booth and there was Pam standing there with none other than the lady with the largest afro um what I can say at this point and my whole overview of the actual showcase everyone that was there that you may see on YouTube or that you may be a you know, I like their Facebook page. Everyone was so nice. I didn't get a sense of air of standoffishness or anything. And there was the lady with the uh, largest afro. I took a picture of her, as you can see, with her and uh, Pam from Calls by Nature. And I mean, people were asking her question. It's a girl that I've known like forever, ran right up to her and she put her hands in her hair. And I was like, doesn't that make you mad? And she was like, well, yeah, but she was so sweet about it. But she's known for having um, the largest afro. So when people see it, they're intrigued by how she can get it you know to stand up and can she see or whatever so needless to say I did I was able to go and as you can see from some of the pictures visit other vendor booths or whatever there's a vendor and this particular picture that's from Houston and what I was impressed with is that she had jewelry and uh, her jewelry well a pair of earrings a couple of pair of earrings that I received and a bracelet wasn't overpriced. She didn't raise it up. In fact, most of them lower the prices of their products at those shows. So, uh, I did. I was able to maneuver around and look some more. And, of course, I went by to see what they were doing at the damn salon because I am getting damn yeah! February 24th at 9 o'clock. I am going to get City Twist. I was just really impressed more so because I was up close and personal talking from Pam from Calls by Nature and I don't know if you could tell from the picture she had City Twist and she had an updo and I just, it's, I'm in the practice protective style challenge and I'll have another month to go so I'm going to uh, get that done but anyway it's such a good time but you guys I did have an opportunity to go over to Miss Jessie's booth and uh, they were talking about the uh, granddaughters because you know that's why she invented her product and you know I, I used Miss Jessie's products when I first did my big chop but the products were very drying to my hair it didn't work for me I think the granddaughters are kind of they have a mixture of different softer texture maybe a 2 3 C hair and maybe that is what she designed her products for I don't know but the her area was just slammed with people they just loved the stuff they were over there they were doing demonstrations it was just really very nice but I did make it to Beautiful Brown Baby Dolls booth, and she was there. And when I tell you that she is awesome, I mean, just phenomenal. Down to earth, very personable, very intelligent. I mean, I just, I, I just had to talk to her and get my hug because she was the first YouTuber that I subscribed to when I got on YouTube. And I've been watching her videos, health videos her weight loss videos I had to let her know that I started a challenge but I failed well I'm not gonna say I failed I lost seven pounds so I'm a little more conscious of being you know what I eat and I bought a couple of workout videos that I am going to start 
eventually <laughs> I'm going to do those videos. And, uh, you know, we talked. She talked about having meetups in, in Houston because she's living in Texas now. I thought she was in Dallas. She's not. Uh, she also discussed um, her YouTube, the, the meaning of her YouTube name. And I'm going to uh, let her share that because she's going to do a video she indicated and I was just so impressed with that y'all the show was just awesome the workshops I was very very pleased with the participation of the vendors but also for the participation from Houston because it's been it was kind of slow with this natural thing and, 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 and it taking off here in Houston and I just look forward to going next year I can see that it's going to be bigger and better and I don't feel like I have to jump a plane to go to Atlanta or to Baltimore to do a half show because we have something just like that that's being presented in October every year here in Houston for us to participate and take care take you know take part in I was I was very very pleased I was very impressed uh, I want to thank my girls Tamira and Latoria for coming with me and hey you guys take check out Latoria's channel if you haven't done so already or if you've not run across it uh, I'm gonna put a link to her channel in the description box she did her review on the hair show and also the products that she bought and also on the swag bag that we received it was some samples of Miss Jessie's products in there so um, I just want to send a shout out to all of you all that uh, commented on the last video to my new subscribers and my old subscribers. And until the next video, you guys be blessed. Bye-bye.